Gotcha. Kolf Taroth is the new Elder Dragon in Monster Hunter World, and when you reach the last stage of her fight, the fourth stage, everybody wipes, and then you don't get the final rewards for carving her horns. I'm here today to show you a build that I believe trivializes the last stage of the fight while allowing you to also deal a lot of damage. It's a very good build. I used it to solo Kulv Tarath. I'll have a video of that up later. But first of all, I just want a separate video that talks about the build. Now, before we move on, I want to mention that Kulv Tarath's own armor set is actually a pretty good set for fighting Kulv Tarath because of its high fire resistance. However, I made this video assuming that the majority of you have not unlocked the full armor set because that'll take a while. And so the point is to get you guys ready to fight her while you're trying to unlock her set. Uh, perhaps in the future, I, I believe I'm only missing like one piece of the set at this point. In the future, I'll probably do, uh, you know, probably a video where I use her armor as well. But today we'll actually be taking a look at the Damascus armor set, an armor set that often gets overlooked, but it's crazy good in this instance, and I'll explain why. Basically, the Damascus armor set is a very cheap, uh, you know, very easy to access set for all players. And when you put it on, you're going to have pretty good fire defense because that's what it does. It has high fire defense. And what I've done is I've actually traded the arms out for the Rathalos Van Braces. That gives me two more points of fire resistance. And then I just add one more fire resistance decoration for fire resistance of 42. That makes a big difference. If you guys didn't know that, basically there's a lot of moves that can't one shot me anymore when, or two shot me if you want to call it that when I'm fighting Kulv Taroth. So yeah, I can almost just stand in her lava attacks and do what I want because it's not gonna do enough damage. You know, I'm gonna take a lot of damage over time from it, but not enough that I'm really forced to leave it, I would say, uh, and it contributes a lot in that regard. So the idea here is if you can just stay alive in the last stage of fighting Kulv Taroth, there's a very good chance you're going to get to carve her horns. Uh, you know, usually the problem is that somebody wipes too early, right? And all you got to do is put on this armor set and find some way to deal decent damage with it, okay? So I have, um, in my case, I'm using the Griffin Blazooka just because I know that the Wyvern Snipe ammo is going to be extra effective against Kulv Taroth because she has a long body. Wyvern Snipe is like Pierce ammo or Dragon Piercer, if you didn't know that. It travels through her body and then it blows up a whole bunch for sometimes like 500, 600 damage per shot. And Focus is going to get me back that special ammo shot sooner, that Wyvern Snipe shot. So yeah, the Damascus set, it kind of pairs with the Heavy Bowgun Wyvern Snipe. And that's what I've gone with here. But I didn't have to go with it. I could have gone with a hunting horn that gives my whole team attack up large and defense up large. That's certainly an option. If you do that, be sure you bring the sonorous decoration so that your buffs last longer. And honestly, you can take any weapon you want. The whole point here is just that the Damascus set gives you defense rank 4, which is going to give you some elemental resistance. It already has very high fire resistance. Then it has a bunch of small slots that you can add more decorations to. In my case, I put on the Divine Blessing skill, because Divine Blessing will reduce the damage you take in half, but, you know, it has a, it, it does that by, by random chance. The thing is, when you have a, kind of an already tanky build, Divine Protection only gets better, because it means you're going to be hit multiple times, and so you really do have more of a chance of it proccing and being useful in the long run, you know what I mean? So, in other words, my whole set reduces a ton of damage and it means I'm drinking less potions and spending more time doing damage, not really worrying about my health as much. And yeah, and the, on, the truth is, on this build, with my Wyvern Snipe, my Wyvern Snipe's not even suffering from the build. It gets focus, and you'll notice I have two True Shot Jewels, that gives me the special ammo boost, uh, so I'm getting quite a bit of damage out of my Wyvern Snipe. Uh, I get a pretty good amount of damage out of my Wyvern ammo, which is also really good here because it tends to break. I, I could be wrong about this, but it certainly feels like the Wyvern ammo 
breaks parts easier. You'll notice when I say breaking parts, I do have a destroyer jewel as well. The uh, That's the part break skill, right? If you can get that decoration onto the build, that's useful as well because Kulv Teroth, she's a monster where you're really interested in breaking the parts off of her body. So part breakers, uh, <laughs> you know, it's kind of a priority here. I, I could have gotten, I could have given up the elementless jewel and gotten another destroyer jewel on, but you know, I can't give up that extra damage. Maybe, uh, I don't know, I'd have to see that, that it's actually better to give up elementless. I, I have no way to know that, so I stuck with Elementless in this case. But yeah, I could have had two levels of Part Breaker on the build, I just went with Elementless. Alright, let me know what you guys think. I did solo Kulv Tarot with this from beginning to end. I'll have a video on that at some point. I, I don't know, I'll probably link to it in the comment section later if you ever check back. And uh, enjoy. Really? Oh my gosh, you guys! I just want to thank y'all so much! Ooh.